Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for today's URC Round 15 review. Um, a good weekend for some South African teams uh, and a bad weekend for one. And uh, the fight for the top eight really, really started to go down to wire as we uh, take a week break uh, before we then come back for uh, what's going to be a very, very exciting uh, two weeks in a row and then a final round of the URC. So things are really starting to heat up as we head towards uh, the business end of the various seasons. It is EPCR semi-finals week. We've got both the Champions Cup and the Challenge Cup semi-finals this weekend. Um, so come Monday, we will know who will be in it to try and compete for European glory um, towards the end of May. Now, before we get into some of the results of the weekend, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's start with the Sharks, shall we, who bounced back and uh, got a victory against the Scarlets away from home. Which, given the Sharks' side named, maybe looks a little bit close, but I think this sort of shows you just how difficult it is for teams to travel. And uh, and something that I think, you know, is starting to become a real big factor is, is that home ground advantage, which is why the top eight, the race for top eight, hitting in home quarter, home semi, potentially even home final, I think is going to become more and more important as uh, the years go by with adding the, the South African, uh, uh, you know, a factor into it. You know, the fact that you're coming to a different a climate, different conditions, different altitude, for example, you're playing Johannesburg. There are so many different things you have to factor in now when you're playing in various different continents. Um, and I think that that's really starting to show in the URC. So a grind for the Sharks to get a victory, 32 points, 27 over the Scarlets. Uh, they're in uh, 13th place, uh, Scarlets down to 14. So it's a bit of a bottom of the table clash. Um, but uh, with the Hollywood Sharks, Hollywood Bed Sharks rather, being involved this weekend in the Challenge Cup semi finals, this was an important game for them to try and build some momentum. Ulster have kept their chance of getting a playoff live with a home victory against Benetton, who got a got some points there, very important to keep themselves in eighth. Those two currently sitting in playoff spots. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I think Benetton have dropped off really. So I think if they were to drop out of the top eight, it would be a bit of a disaster season for them given how dominant they were at the beginning of the season uh guys the warriors are up into first place uh, and are staying there after the weekend having hammered zebra palmer 40 points to nine um again you'd expect if those if those different uh, venues i think Royals probably would have put more on zebra um and then uh, probably the results of the weekend the bulls bouncing back in incredible fashion to beat Munster. Uh, well after losing to Munster to beat osprey 61 points to 24 this after ospreys did beat the storm is down in Cape Town. Uh, I think a bit of a hangover there, uh, catching up with them. But it was the immaculate performance from the Bulls, who were dominant from beginning uh, to end. Uh, if you then look at this, Cardiff beating Edinburgh seven points to twenty-four. Uh, so going down, going down to Edinburgh seven points to twenty-four. Uh, it's an important game for Edinburgh, who are very much in that top eight race, but can't afford to slip too much. Uh, similarly, with the Lions, for example, down eleventh. Uh, you know, these sort of uh, results for Edinburgh versus the Lions, massive swing. You know, I went for the Lions, would have kept them or potentially put them in the top eight, lost to Edinburgh, could have seen them swap positions. So things are very, very close at the moment. But that victory for, um, for Munster against Lions, uh, as a Lions fan, incredibly frustrating because I think that the Lions had opportunities early on and it'll just meant that they were behind the game. And then a good second half performance was never going to be enough. However, what I watched for Munster this weekend is I watched a performance of a champion team. Uh, I watched a team which... I are, are genuine contenders for this URC title. I think that now they've got a lot of their big players back, you know, there's very few weaknesses in, in their game. Um, I do think that they are a team that, that can chip some points, but they look like a team now that know how to score tries and, and difficult tries, you know, not just, uh, you know, Jack Crowley pulling off a miracle cross kick. They can try, they can score, you know, via running moors. They can be physical. They can tickle a lot of the different boxes to make them really, really competitive. Um, so almost up against a very weakened Leinster side, getting the business done, but like the Lions, 42 points to 12, keeping themselves in that top eight rates. Uh, Leinster dropped down to second. They've got a Champions Cup semi-final this weekend, which was their priority. But if they don't be careful, if they were to fall to this weekend, they might actually have compromised a potential home final in the pursuit of European glory. Final game of the weekend, very important win for that for, for Connor. 37, uh, 34 points to 27. It was a bit closer than they probably would have liked. Once again, that away... Um, uh, or home ground advantage for Dragons almost uh, giving them a bit of an edge, but kind of keeping themselves um, in that top eight. So if we look at the table, it's still incredibly close, albeit a bit more space uh, between the various teams. So for example, Lions were one point behind the top eight. They now are five points behind the top eight. Ospreys are sitting on 40 points at 43 or Edinburgh. So uh, Edinburgh one point up, up away from the top eight, but Ospreys and Lions a little bit further back. However, 
Uh, Lions have got Cardiff next at home. They'll be looking for a bonus point victory to try and take them back into that sort of contention. They were to go to back to back. They've got to try and beat the likes of a Glasgow Warriors who will come down to Joburg in a couple of weeks' time. But uh, there we go. Leinster down four points behind Glasgow Warriors, but just one point behind them are Munster, who are suddenly really much back in the in the in the in the running for potential. Um, home semi-finals and home final, even if they were to try and get the right results. Bulls also giving themselves a bit of distance from the Stormers, making sure they're going to have that home quarterfinal. The Stormers as well, giving themselves a little bit of distance when you think that uh, they remain three points away from Edinburgh. Um, so, you know, it's giving themselves a bit of, of space. If you look at the fixtures to come, again, nothing this weekend, but uh, for the South African perspective, they got to, uh, Stormers have to go to Dragons away, which shouldn't be too... Um, difficult for them, but again, away game there. Lions hosting Cardiff is a big result, but a big opportunity for them. The Lions will be looking for favors, really. Sharks, uh, you know, they'll want to see the Sharks um, beat Benton. They need favors from the Scarlets beating Ulster, for example, and um, elsewhere. They'll need to they'll need to uh, see um, Zebra Palmer try and 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 beat um, Edinburgh, which I don't see really happening. Um, but some of the all of these sort of teams in the top eight have quite you know one sort of difficult game. Edinburgh having to host Munster, for example, will be a tough fixture. Ospreys against Dragons, it's a it's a Welsh derby that could be a tough fixture. Uh, Connacht versus Storm is going to be a very important one, as is um, the likes of Ulster versus Leinster. So uh, opportunity really, I think, for for three South African teams to genuinely compete. Lions have to win the next two games. And then they'll probably be up against the Storm. They will be up against the Stormers. It could very well be vying for one of the two teams to make top eight, but could potentially be looking to make it three teams back in at the Champions Cup. If the Sharks were to then go and win the Challenge Cup, it could actually be um, potentially four South African teams. But uh, the right results would have to happen with regards to where the teams finish up. Let me know what you thought about the round down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.